Turning overseas now with a rare new look inside Syria, where time is running out for thousands of civilians, many of them children, trapped by war. Now they're being told they have a chance to flee Syria's largest city, which is under siege from government forces targeting rebel-held areas. But as our Richard Engel reports, many may never get out. Four-year-old Mariah somehow managed to keep her angelic smile in the midst of war outside Damascus. With jets overhead, her father encouraged her to pray to stay calm. But her prayer was interrupted by an explosion nearby. Mariah survived, but across Syria, the government of Bashar al-Assad, backed by extensive Russian help, is on the offensive. And nowhere is the situation more dire than in Aleppo. Troops are moving in. The combined Syrian-Russian offensive has intensified bombing of Aleppo's main hospitals. NBC News obtained images taken just after one of the bombings. Hospitals turned into killing fields. A little girl injured and unattended in the midst of chaos. The hospital is out of service completely, said a nurse, and without it, even the smallest injury could lead to death. There are 350,000 civilians trapped in Aleppo, and they are running out of everything, even food. This family's refrigerator, like so many others, near empty. Russia and Syria announced they'll open a so-called humanitarian corridor for people to leave Aleppo. Activists say it's just a way to empty the city before a complete attack and possible takeover. The untold suffering of the people of Aleppo maybe just beginning. Richard Engel, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.